Once upon a time, it was a beautiful Christmas for Christmas weekend. The sun was shining. The holiday spirit was in the air. Hold up, little nigga. Um, yeah? Ooh, those the and ones? Yeah. My mommy just spit <laughs> give me the shoes. I wanna see that body. Yeah. And that, my guy, is how my day got started. Sneakers are the epitome of basketball culture. See, when you rock those kicks, ooh, you that guy. All the homies were big. Man, I remember, sorry to pause it, but I remember when I was in middle school, man, I had FUBUs. I was a poor boy at the time. I had FUBUs, man. They looked like Jordans, so that's why I got them. But anyway, I walk into school, right? And and um, as I'm walking through the hallway, um, there's a lot of kids just looking at my shoes, thinking, they, oh, Cindy got the new Jordans, Cindy got the Jordans, you know, all that good stuff. And then, uh, sitting down in class, and my pants came up. You know, when you sit down, your pants come up a little bit. And uh, people saw the FUBUs, and I got roasted all day. I think it lasted for a week. I got I got roasted, bro. I really wanted to commit suicide after that. But um, that shit really, it got to me, bro. And uh, I never wore FUBUs again. PTSD. Feel you? Oh, sure, this one of feel you. The clout is undeniable. Damn, bro. Those kids fired, kid. Now the problem is, sneakers cost money. Lots and money. lots of dinero. Capiche? Surely only cost companies a few dollars and unenforced unethical labor, but Americans don't care. We about kicks. Oh, my mother, I'll tell you that right here. If I'm not getting them, nobody getting them. I'm a real gangster. I don't give a fuck about my life, and I want them sneakers. Now, as a kid, you I... Better, you better put your life over sneakers? No, you're putting sneakers over your life. My boy, come on now. Love basketball. It's the only sport that I truly believe. I could be just like my could be just like Kobe. Could even be the next LeBron James. Now every great basketball player has to have the signature sneaker. Which leads us to problem number one. My parents would never spend a large amount of money just to buy sneakers. And by a large amount, I'm talking anything beyond twenty dollars. See, they're my shoes or shoes. Didn't matter the brand, all you need was a nice pair of shoes to cover your feet. But mmm, mmm, ball is like my guy. If you a hooper, you oh, got no. to have the drip. And that, my guy, is where this story begins. So for this story, I'm going to take you back, back to my hooping years. So it was a beautiful Christmas weekend. Now, this was a special Christmas. See, unlike most places, the South is different, different. Every once in a while, God blesses us with warm weather. So a few days before Christmas, my mom started doing Christmas shopping. So what do you want for Christmas? These old notes made me forty-three dollars. I uploaded them to StuDocu, and they made me an offer of forty-three. Oh, can I get the N one sneakers? Now for the uninformed, growing up N one was the shit. Damn, that is a nice, nice boy. That's not real basketball, and you better stop using that word. Yeah, whatever, old nigga. Oh, See, back in the day, it was all about the swag. And nothing said swag more than the N1 brand. See, the N1 brand represented street basketball. A combination of hood basketball with little to no fundamentals. Oh, you heard of the Professor, a.k.a. YouTube Spider-Man Hooper? Yeah. Men's was an N1 Hooper before YouTube. See, the term N1 derives from a phrase that used when a player is fouled while scoring a shot, thereby being awarded a free throw. I'm talking prison rules, my guy. Yes, the sir. harder the foul, the better the play. So as promised, my mom takes me to the local Fool's Locker. Okay, son, which shoe is it? This one. You want a $75 shoe? No, no, for most of y'all, y'all like $75. That's low money, but mm, mm, not for my mom's. Mommy, please. Now, since the kid had been a good little boy, my mom decides to purchase the shoe. Now, son, you take care of these and don't tell your dad how much these cost, okay? Okay. So we get the shoes, get to the crib, and everything was cool. Onward, and it's the next day. Now, since the weather was warm, your boy got up early and decided to go to the basketball to show off the new kicks. Dummy. Now, if you remember back... That's the, that is the last place you want to go, my guy, especially if in the hood. You get new shoes, you go straight to the basketball court, bro, you're asking to get stolen. Rookie mistake, but he was a little kid back then, so he didn't know. It's okay, Tim. You know now.
For my game banging video, my parents had one major rule when it came to our neighborhood. Never leave the vicinity, which wasn't a big issue because our neighborhood consisted of a massive area. But here's the problem. The street basketball court was located on the opposite side of the neighborhood, meaning the only way to get there was to leave the proximity. Not to make sure I wouldn't get caught, your boy checked the premises, made sure the parents weren't looking, and decided to leave. Excuse me? Where do you think you're going? Oh, I'm going to play with my friends, Mom. Well, you make sure you're back before sundown. So your boy leaves the crib, gets on a bike, and starts pedaling. Okay, Tim, this is it. There's no turning back now. So I cross the road, get to the other side of town, and find my way to these streets. Now, this is when sh got real. See, instead of taking the long way, I decided to take the shortcut. So I made the cut, got to the stop sign, and stopped the bike. All right, Tim, no cars coming from the right, none from the left. Time to roll. Yes, sir. Okay. Don't look back. I'm talking to you, little nigga. So, I <laughs> gently look back. Damn, there's a couple teenage boys standing behind me. See, this was the exact reason my mom banned me from leaving the neighborhood. Now your boy was in gang territory. And since your boy ain't no gang banger, I had no reason to be in there in the first place. Yo, I like those kicks, son. What size you wear? These are eight. Are those the N ones? Yeah, my mom just bought them for me. Check this out, fellas. His mommy just bought them for him. Yeah, guys, you can buy them at the Fool's Locker. Check this out, little man. How about you come off them sneakers? What? Give me those sneakers, little nigga. Now I had two <laughs> options. Go for an escape and hope to be faster than those kids or fight my way through this. Now, option one was a no-no. See, when you start riding a bike, it takes a few seconds to speed up, meaning the kids will catch me before running off. On the other end, option two includes getting my ass beat and coming home with bruises. Then I'm in real trouble for leaving the neighborhood in the first place. So, my guy, I'm going to ask you one more time. What would you do? Damn, Get on that bike. You can't go out like a sucker. All right. I'm going to have to make a run for it. So here we are, me against the teenage hoodlums. So the first guy goes for the first move. We ah, bitch, gave man the two-piece and a biscuit. Oh, damn, no man got hit. Okay, Tim, keep using your speed. I can't believe I'm winning. Come on, Tim, so, you so, got that's this. One dude. Man, they <laughs> fucked me up. Took my sneakers, and your boy started going back home crying like a bitch. Man, what am I going to tell mom? So, I get to the crib. Get inside. Hey, son. Oh, my God. What happened to you? Now, what do I do? Do I tell my mom the truth or lie to her face? This kid from up the block beat me up and took my sneakers. Wait a minute. Hold up. The $75 sneaker? Didn't I tell you not to leave the neighborhood? Now, you would think this lady would be more concerned about her son more than the $75. <laughs> but here we go. Come on, let's go. You're going to show me who beat you up. So we drove to the opposite block, looked for a while, and found that... That's a, that's a mama right there. That is a mama right there, boy. One kid that took my sneakers. Go ahead. Point him out. He took it. Him? My mom slapped... Boy, give me my son's shoes. Out this boy. Take it. It's right here. Now say you're sorry. Sorry. So we leave the street, get back to the crib. Mommy, thanks for getting my... Mom beat the shit out of me, too. Didn't I tell you not to leave this I'm sorry! <laughs> Moral of the story. Wanting possessions isn't always a bad thing. But if money and materials make you believe you're better than others, then you're the poorest person on earth. Man, I'm telling you, after every video I watch of this man, either he getting beat, punched, whooped, beat up, or he's a shot at. So like, it's like maybe one video where it ended good. Other than that, some bad going happen at the end, but there's a lesson learned at each of these, uh, each end of the story. So uh, I really applaud him for that. But that that was a good video, man. Um, I got my sneakers raw, but man, I didn't get beat up for it now. You know, uh, but it was good good memories, man. Hope those fools are in jail. Mother, I ain't gonna say it because he's on camera, so I ain't gonna. I'm gonna stay PG thirteen. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that video, man. Um, if you like it. Well, I'll do more of it. You know, let me know down in the comments. And uh, remember to stay humble and stay hopeful. And uh, until then, sit us out. Peace.